Hi everyone. Are you ready for some music time with Miss Anne? I hope so, because here we go. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. <clears throat> Hello everybody. I'm so glad to see you today. Hello to all the girls. Hey girls. Hello to all the boys. Hi boys. <clears throat> Hello to the teachers. Hello everybody. Good for you. And we'll put this down for just a moment. It is spring. You probably noticed the weather is beautiful. The sun is shining. Yeah, we've had lots of rain too. That's the, in sign language, this is rain. And flowers are blooming. The trees are all green. The birds are singing. Lots of baby animals are being born. Birds and insects are hatching, and I have a song about a butterfly. This is actually the song about the life cycle of a butterfly, how a butterfly lays the egg. Out of the egg comes a caterpillar. You remember the story about the very hungry caterpillar? Well, here we go. First comes a butterfly who lays an egg. Out comes a caterpillar with many legs. Oh, see the caterpillar spin and spin. A little chrysalis to sleep in. Oh, 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 look and see. Oh, 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 look and see. Out of the chrysalis, my oh my, out comes a brand new butterfly. There. So the butterfly lays the egg. Out of the egg comes a caterpillar. It eats a lot. It spins a chrysalis. A butterfly spins a chrysalis, a moth makes a cocoon. So it goes into the chrysalis, stays inside about two weeks. When it comes out, it's a butterfly. So since it is spring and beautiful weather is all around us, I chose one of my favorite books for spring called the Whole Green World. And this was written by Tony Johnston and illustrated by Elisa Clevin. And it's about this girl who loves nature and anything that grows. And she would like to help things grow. 
and she has a very ambitious plan. Ambitious means she has a lot of work to do. The whole green world. Well, in this picture, she and her mom are going to the garden shop. So they're going to buy some things for gardening. And her best friend is her little dog. He's going to help her. And if you're going to do a big job, it's important to have a good pair of shoes. I've got a little pair of shoes, comfy, cozy little shoes. Got a little pair of shoes to walk the whole round world. Do you think you could walk all around the world? Mm, well, you'd have to take a boat at some point or a, an airplane. I've got a little shaggy dog, lovely, lively, waggy dog. Got a little shaggy dog to tag along with me. Good to have a friend to go around the world with. I've got a little pokey stick, okey dokey brittle stick. Got a little pokey stick to dig the whole round world. Hmm, I wonder why she needs a stick. And her mom has something in her hand too. I've got a little sack of seeds, fat and slick like glassy beads. Got a little sack of seeds to plant the whole green world. Oh, that is a big bag of seeds. You think it's enough to plant all around the world? Let's see. I've got a little water can, skinny, tinny water can. Got a little water can to wet the whole round world. And her little brown dog, too. <laughs> I've got a bright big ball of sun, hot enough to brown a bun. I've got a bright big ball of sun to warm the whole round world. And that can happen. The sun does warm the whole world, a little bit at a time. I've got some ladybugs and ants, ants that love to crawl on plants. Got some ladybugs and ants to crawl the whole round world. Oh, and they do. And maybe they help the flowers to grow by helping to pollinate the plants. I've got myself a little breeze, sneaky breeze that no one sees. Huffy, puffy, as you please, to blow seeds round the world. Well, that will help too. If there's a breeze to blow the seeds, she won't have to go all over the world herself. I've got the tallest, sweetest cake, sweet tall cake my mama baked. Got the tallest, sweetest cake to eat while my seeds sprout. Oh, well that was nice. Wow, her mama baked her that big cake. I've got a little bitty book, crisp and new and pretty book. Got a little pretty book to read to my good seeds. Yep, growing plants can take a while. You might as well have some cake and read a good book. I've got a silver smile of moon. Nice and icy slice of moon. Got a silver smile of moon to smile on my good seeds. Mm -hmm. So she needs rest, and maybe the plants need rest, too. I've got lots of flowers and trees, mumbling loud with bumblebees. I've got lots of flowers and trees, and that is all I need. Wow, look at what she did. The trees are blooming, and the flowers are beautiful. Let's look back at how her yard looked when she started. It's pretty enough. Not very colorful though, but look now. Wow, she did a great job. So the bugs and the breeze and the birds, they will help her to carry the seeds all around the world.
the whole green world. So now I have a couple of rhythm activities. Rhythm is the pattern in music. So it's kind of like a, a math activity. Math is where you put numbers together. Well, music is actually full of a lot of numbers. And the caterpillar activity is going to help us feel how music is put together. Say you were in a band or an orchestra, you would want all the musicians to play together. So it sounded like everybody knew how the music was supposed to be played and it didn't just sound like a big mess that nobody had practiced and one person was playing one song and another person was playing another song or somebody's fast and somebody's slow. You want the music to sound like it all belongs together. And a big part of that is the rhythm, how things flow. The beat is steady. That's like you were marching down the street two, three, four, up, two, three, four, up, two, three, like you were in a parade, in a marching band, and your feet were steady, always going the same way. But the rhythm is a little bit different. That can be bouncy. That's how the words go. So I have this little rhyme, a little song about caterpillars, and I have a couple of different kinds of caterpillars. This one is white and black and yellow. And this is the caterpillar from a monarch butterfly. If you've ever been to the Museum of Natural History and right before you go into the butterfly rainforest, you will see a huge display of monarch butterflies. My granddaughters love these. So this is the monarch. He's white and black and yellow. Well, he or she. So what I'm gonna do with my hands is just do a little tapping pattern on my knees. And first, I'm gonna make it real steady, just like this. Caterpillar, caterpillar, white and black and yellow. Caterpillar, caterpillar, such a pretty fellow. So this time, you can try it with me and you don't have to know the words, just follow what I do with my hands, just tapping on our knees. Caterpillar, caterpillar, white and black and yellow. Caterpillar, caterpillar, such a pretty fellow. Simple, right? Well, this time I'm gonna change it up. I'm going to tap every time I say a syllable. That's a part of a word. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit quicker. Caterpillar, caterpillar, white and black and yellow. Caterpillar, caterpillar, such a pretty fellow. Let me try clapping that so you can see my hands better. Caterpillar, caterpillar, white and black and yellow. Caterpillar, 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 such a big, pretty fellow. So that one kind of fast. Let's do another caterpillar. All right, and this one is really fuzzy. It has a cute name. It's called the Wooly Bear. <laughs> so imagine he's like your teddy bear caterpillar. He's a Wooly Bear, and he's black and brown, black and brown. Caterpillar, black and brown. Caterpillar, crawling up and down. Let's try that together. Caterpillar, black and brown. Caterpillar, Crawling up and down. Good. Alrighty. One more type. I don't know what kind of caterpillar this is. 
I just like the picture because he's long and green. Yep, long and green. I like its spots too. Now for this one, we're going to do one hand at a time. Caterpillar long and green. Caterpillar eat those leaves. That's what they eat. Let's try that together. Caterpillar long and green. Caterpillar eat those leaves. All right, good deal. Now, we're going to do a rhythm stick activity. And this is a really fun song. It was written by a lady named Anna Moo, and she lives very close to Gainesville. It's a fun song called Caterpillar, Caterpillar. And in this song, we're imagining that the caterpillar is going on a trip. I know, they hardly ever travel. But the caterpillar needs to go into town because he has to buy some shoes. And you can imagine he would need a lot of shoes for all those feet. All right, so first put your sticks on your shoulders. And all you need to do is pretend that you're looking in the mirror. When you look in the mirror, you see me. So you're just going to follow whatever I do. And at first, we'll just tap. We might tap to the left, might tap to the right, might tap on our knees up and down. There might be times when we roll our sticks. Who knows? So watch me because I will be your conductor, your leader. Here we go. Oh, let me put the microphone closer. Hold on, sorry. Okay, let's try that again. Fun. You did 
did great. I love that song. Fun. One of my favorite Anamu songs. Alrighty. Caterpillars like to eat leaves, right? And leaves grow on trees. So let's sing about our apple tree. And we may have learned some new signs recently. The one for high, because this makes sense. Things that are high go up in the air. And then the sign for smile. We haven't been able to see a lot of smiles lately because of wearing masks. And you're probably wondering, well, why isn't she wearing a mask? Well, because I'm at home and nobody else is here. <laughs> and you probably don't wear your masks at home either. Smile so high, like way up high in the apple tree. Two red apples smiled at me. So here we go. Way up high in the apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. How about if I wanted an orange? Way up high in the orange tree, two orange oranges smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the oranges. Mmm, they were good. And like this morning, I had a banana with my breakfast. Way up high in the banana tree, two yellow bananas smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the bananas. Hmm, they were good. They were. And we were really strong to be able to shake a whole tree. So, how about if we sing a couple of our favorite songs? Well, this one we've only done a couple of times, but I think when we did it, you really liked it. It's This Land is Your Land. <coughs> I like this one, especially for this time of year, because it's when families might start taking vacations and you might travel somewhere in your car. It could be somewhere as close as Disney World. It could be halfway across the country to your grandma's house or to your aunt or uncle's house or all the way across the country. Who knows? When I was a kid, my parents and I would travel from way up the top of the country in New England where we lived all the way down here to Florida. And that was over a thousand miles. And we did that every year. <coughs> So, this land is your land. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. saw above me that endless skyway I saw below me that golden valley this land was made for you and me this land is your land this land is my land from California to the New York Island from the Redwood And someone else who took a lot of trips was a yellow cat. He didn't really want to. Mr. Johnson just kept sending him away 
and he kept coming back. <laughs> Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own. He had a yellow cat that wouldn't leave his home. He tried and tried to give the cat away. No matter what he did, it just wouldn't stay. And the cat came back the very next day. Yeah, the cat came back. He thought it was a goner, but the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay. to take it to the man up in the moon. The balloon came down about 90 miles away. Where the woman is now, no one can say. But the cat came back the very next day. Yeah, the cat came back. He thought it was a goner, but the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away, away. sad. But the cat came back the very next day. Yeah, the cat came back. He thought it was a goner, but the cat came back. He just wouldn't stay away, away, away. And he said, meow. Yes. <laughs> oh, I had fun with you boys and girls. I hope you had fun too. Goodbye everybody, time to go. Goodbye everybody, time to go. Goodbye, see you later. Here at Baby Gator. Goodbye everybody, time to go. See you soon, friends.